I got some new art supplies today and just kind of excited to try some of them out. So, um, working on some new paper as well. Lead proof paper for pens and other media. So, hoping it works good for this. I'm going to start by making some marks with my Copic marker. This has two different ends on it. So let's just see how this works. Oh, nice. Nice lines. Let's just see the other end. We have a chisel. get some nice marks going on with that. All right, uh, this one's just a Stadler permanent marker with a finer nib. So that makes a really cool line too. I love line work. Line is often what hinges the um, painting together. This is a Faber Castell pit pit marker, and I always think that's got the richest color. Okay, and this one. Is a Pantone by Letra Set. Kind of a coppery color. That makes a finer kind of a mark. Nice and fun, playful. Okay, what else do we have of this art bar? Mid gray art bar. We have some other colors as well orange, some black. Oh, no, that's not black, that's raw umber. And burnt umber. Uh, and this one is raw umber. Not much different. I think I, by mistake, picked up the wrong one. So those feel really waxy. Uh, the other thing I got was just the Lyra Aqua Color. Um, oh. So there, how's that for a lot of scribbles? Let's paint into this and see what happens with some of these. So there you can see that that moves. As much as it's waxy, it still will move. And that was the um, art bar. So this, again, will move. So if you want to seal those or paint into them, either or, what if we paint into them? So I'm just using some titanium white. They are going to smear a little bit. 
Now if you don't want them to smear, what you could simply do is put some gloss or matte medium over top of the lines. So you can go ahead and just put a light coat of medium over to seal it. And it is going to smudge a bit. You can see some things smudge more than others. This is the art bar. I'm just going to continue painting into this. a little bit. Let's take another sheet of paper. Just pick some of this up. I got a new monoprint starting. And that brings back some of our our um, underpainting and so far this paper is holding up. Let's add a little bit of this. into that a little bit. So this is just a skewer. Make some marks back in. And maybe a stamp from a meat tray. Make a little bit of texture. Let's just lift some of this back off again. So we can keep going with this um, by adding back into it with even more mark making. Um, the other product I have is these uh, Lyra crayons. Let's try some left handed mark making. Okay, so the paper doesn't like that too much, did it? Um, what about some graphite? Using my non-dominant hand. Okay, and this Sharpie, now you want to really be cautious when you use these up. Your paper is dry so you don't uh, wreck the nib on your pen. Add a bit more white. Lock some of this out a little bit, softening, blending with the wet color underneath. And let's just lift some of that up as well. And I'm not sure I'm in love with this paper does wrinkle. I think I prefer the actual terra skin. Okay, so I think I'll 
leave it at that for now and come back and make some more decisions when it's dry. Thanks for watching. Thank you.